MANIAC McGEE BY JERRY SPINELLI CHAPTER XVI Maniac McGee was blind, sort of. Oh, he could see objects all right. He could see a flying football or John McNabb fastball better than anybody. He could see Mars Bar's foot sticking out, trying to trip him up as he circled the bases for a home run. He could see Mars Bar charging from behind to tackle him, even when he didn't have the football. He could see Mars Bar's bike veering for a nearby puddle to splash water on him. He could see all these things, but he couldn't see what they meant. He couldn't see that Mars Bar disliked him, maybe even hated him. When you think about it, it's amazing all the stuff he didn't see. Such as big kids don't like little kids showing them up. And big kids like it even less if another big kid, such as hands down, is laughing at them while the little kid is faking them out of their fruit of the looms. And some kids don't like a kid who is different, such as a kid who is allergic to pizza, or a kid who does dishes without being told or a kid who never watches Saturday morning cartoons, or a kid who's another color. Maniac kept trying, but still he couldn't see it, this color business. He didn't figure he was white any more than the East Enders were black. He looked himself over pretty hard and came up with at least seven different shades and colors right on his own skin, not one of them being what he would call white except for his eyeballs, which weren't any wider than the eyeballs of the kids in the East End. Which was all a big relief to Maniac, finding out he wasn't really white, because the way he figured, white was about the most boring color of all. But there it was, piling up around him, dislike. Not from everybody, but enough, and Maniac couldn't see it. And then, all of a sudden, he could. 